It is not who you are that's holding you back. It is the illusions of who you think you're not. This is Anders Hansen, and I'm here to help you shatter those illusions and live the life of your dreams. Hi there, this is Anders Hansen, and welcome to Insights to Impossible. Today, we're going to learn what real magic actually is and how you can create more of it in your life to create all the great results that you want. But first, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with friends and family that you believe could benefit from it as well. So if you're ready to get going, I am. Today, we're going to talk about what real magic actually is. You see, as an illusionist, I performed magic for 20 years, making people believe in something that wasn't true. That's an illusion, is something that is wrongly perceived or interpreted by your senses. We also call it theatrical magic. Now, today, I don't do that anymore. What I do is use theatrical magic to help you bring the real magic in you to the surface. And what is real magic? Real magic is your ability to manipulate energy. That's right. The manipulation of energy from spirit to form with and through us, that is real magic. So what we have to realize is that you and I, we exist on three planes at the same time to really grasp this concept. And I think many people have this negative connotation to the word manipulation. Manipulation just means changing from one state to another. It's the manipulation of energy. That's it. From spirit to form with and through us. And you can create whatever it is that you want, but it warrants a greater understanding of who we are as a person and how the mind functions. So we are existing on three planes at the same time. You know, you're not a body, you live in it. And who is it that lives in it? Well, it's, it's, your, it's, it's you and I, we are a soul, we don't have one. We're pure, unadulterated energy. We're spirit, uh, manifested in physical form. So we're a spiritual being that right now inhabits a physical form called the body. And then at the same time, we're gifted a mind and intellect that can think. And the intellect sits right there in the middle between spirit, pure energy and physical form of resource. So I want you to imagine those three layers, spirit, intellect and physical. So you and I, with our intellect, with our conscious mind, we have free will to choose any thought we want to think. Nobody can force you and I to think things you don't choose, that I don't choose. That's our choice. We can choose to go to pure energy. And we can build the picture of what it is that we want. And most people just in that process, let their program mind determine what it is that they want, what they think they can get, what they need to get by. There is no inspiration in needs goals, but you, you have a lot more drive and a lot more passion uh, when you choose a wants goal. Now we're not talking about goal setting today. But just I want to throw that in there because just in that very process of building the picture, most people let their program mind limit them. So you have that potential. You can use your mind to go to pure energy and build the picture. Now, you have an infinite amount of energy. People say, well, where do you get the energy from? You release it and your desire for your goal is the triggering mechanism for the release of that energy. So the more emotionally involved you are with something you really want, the more energy you're going to release. And that's such a beautiful thing. You see, often in my seminars, I illustrate this with a light bulb. And uh, the light bulb lights up, not in accordance to the power that flows to the bulb. The light bulb lights up in accordance to the size of the bulb. It's the same with you. You light up in accordance to the size of the idea that you planned in your mind. So back to this three layer concept, the intellect can use pure energy to go to spirit, to build the picture, take one thought, string it together with another thought and another thought build, you know, an overall idea or concept of your goal. Now, what you're really doing as you're focusing on that, you internalize that, you get emotionally involved in that and everything that happens will happen in an orderly process for you to achieve that you can actually build this image. You can build the image in your mind. We're only limited by lack of attention and poverty of imagination. Like Neville Goddard would say, this is so beautiful. We're only limited by lack of attention, poverty of imagination. So there's two mental faculties, two mental tools that you and I need to focus on in this respect. And they 
reside in the conscious mind, in the intellectual mind. So again, right there between spirit and form sits the intellect. And the intellect holds six mental faculties. Two of them are the will and your imagination. Remember what Neville said? Lack of attention, poverty of imagination. Lack of attention, no focus, poverty of imagination, no seeming ability to build these pictures. But we all have that. So you want to realize that your will gives you the ability to hold one idea on the screen of your mind to the exclusion of whatever else is going on around you. And your imagination enables you to build the picture. And so it's not a matter of, you know, are you creative? You are. Everybody is. We release creativity. We express creativity to the world. And the ones that express a lot of creativity to the world are usually very good at building mental pictures. But it's a skill we can all learn so you can actually build this picture. And one thing I want you to realize is that once the picture is built and you have that on your conscious level, you see that mental picture with your eyes closed, the moment you turn that picture over to your emotional, your subconscious mind, free will actually ends. Free will to act is an illusion. Um, we think we have free will to act, but we really don't. Free will is of a mental nature because once you adopt the idea and you internalize it and you accept the idea emotionally, the actions will follow if that's what it takes. I know you've had those experiences of, you know, you receive an idea, it hits your consciousness and you just can't sit still. You have to get moving, right? You have to call them, you have to send the email, you have to put down the, the deposit, whatever it is, that's called inspired action. Inspired, where does inspired come from? In spirit, one with everything that is, one with the energy that flows to and through us. So that's where free will comes in. Free will is the ability you have to choose the picture and hold on to the picture emotionally. All the actions, everything that will happen on a physical plane will happen in an orderly way for you to attract and to create this outcome. So. In the process of you internalizing this, you change your energy frequency in your body. That's right. So your energy frequency is, is expressed in the way you feel. So your feeling is just the word we invented to describe that conscious awareness we have of the energy frequency uh, that we're in. And so you choose the picture now, you hold on to the picture with your will, and you turn it over to your subjective mind, your Vibration in your body changes, your actions change, everything changes on the physical plane. And now you're working from the upside down and the inside out. And that is truly real magic. But most people have this compulsive need to do. What do I need to do to get better results? Let's tame that illusion right now and realize it's not a matter of doing more necessarily. It's a matter of being more and create a balance between the being and the doing. It's a great quantum physicist, Amit Goswami. He puts it he, he puts it very well about the balance between being and doing, and he starts singing about it. Do be do be do be do. <laughs> if we could just remind ourselves of that every day, that I need to take out to be with my goal mentally, to see the image, to internalize the image, to turn it over to pure uh, spirit, and that's what we do. And then the actions follow. Everything that will happen on the physical plane will will happen in accordance with that picture. So that will take a respectable amount of discipline and commitment. And this is where the law of sacrifice comes into the picture. Uh, the law of sacrifice decrees that you have to give up something lesser to receive something of a higher nature. You may have to give up time on a daily basis with something else in favor of time with your goal. And if you don't have a goal mentally, if you don't see the mental picture, you don't have a goal. You have maybe letters on a goal card, maybe you have your goal card written out. And if you don't, go explore our website. There's plenty of great opportunities there to, um, to download that kind of information, but you should have a goal card. And, and you know, that goal card should trigger an image. We think in pictures as human beings, so we have the image. Now we have a goal and we make time for it every single day. We make a decision every day to focus on it and we give up something of our short-term uh, notice to receive something longer term. Of course, our goal. So maybe you have to give up half an hour every day where you just sit down and you focus on that mental picture and you feel the gratitude that comes with that picture materialized in physical form. So there is 
there is a science to it and it is based on science it's the science of the mind and it's in accordance with the natural laws that we're surrounded by now it has taken me 15 years to get to a point where I understand this just so much better than I did before. Better to a point where I've created total freedom in my life. I'm working with the best in the world in personal development, which was my goal. And everything else happened in an, in an orderly way in my life to manifest these things. But it all came into my life as a result of continued study. And that's what I would advise you to do. We have an awesome opportunity coming your way, an absolutely great opportunity. This will take some time to understand and apply, but once you do, everything changes. Now, we have helped thousands of people all over the world create happier, healthier, and wealthier lives. Uh, people who have created great changes in their health, great changes in their wealth, great changes in their happiness, from diagnoses right and left to lives of freedom in many cases, but not by accident. They made a decision. They joined us at our three-day seminar that is coming your way. We have great news. We've announced more cities in Europe and one of them is actually being live streamed. One has a global live stream. So you will learn this science, all these steps that I have taken from my own 15 years of study, my friend and mentor Bob Proctor's 60 years of study, I've integrated that and I've created the world's first experience of its kind, which is Real Magic Live, where personal transformation meets magic. In an experience you'll never come home from. In fact, someone's goal will manifest like real magic, like the process we talked about earlier, live on stage. That could be your goal. How would that change your life, do you think, if your goal all of a sudden manifested live as a result of you using this? That would change everything, I believe. We're coming to Denmark, Colding, Denmark, September 17th to the 19th. We're going to be in Amsterdam, September 24th to the 26th. And we're coming to London, October 1st to October 3rd. So three great opportunities to join us. And the Amsterdam event, September 24th to the 26th, will be live streamed globally in English. So you can join us in Denmark live, you can join us physically live in Amsterdam or join us on the global live stream the 24th to the 26th or you can choose to join us in London live October 1st to the 3rd where you will learn how to really create real magic results in your life results that stick results you can never come home from and that is the beautiful part about all this material it will raise your conscious awareness, level of conscious awareness to a point where you can't go back. You can't pop chicken back in the egg either. And uh, the same way with you, you can't go back from the awareness that you're building. Once you become aware of how to turn your annual income into your monthly income, once you become aware of how to create peace and harmony in your mind so that that is expressed in great health, once you become aware of what it means to attract your dream partner, you cannot become unaware of it again. And that is what Real Magic Live will do for you and so much more. Real Magic Live, where personal transformation meets magic. Click below, book your ticket. We have 200 tickets sold out already in Colding, Denmark. We're almost sold out. We just opened up Amsterdam and London. So before they sell out, do yourself a favor. Go there, click, check out, and I will see you very soon in an experience you will never come home from, where real magic will be created in your life. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this wonderful information with all your friends and family who you believe would benefit from it as well. This is Anders Hansen and I'll see you in the next week's Insights to Impossible. And remember, it's not who you are that holds you back, it's all the illusions of who you think you're not. Bye for now. I really hope that you took a lot of valuable insight away from this video today. And to make sure you stay updated in terms of everything Real Magic World, including programs and live events, make sure that you enable your notifications and most importantly, subscribe to this channel so that you will be the first to know.